orange. Here you go. Give me an orange. No, it's okay. Now, like, pop it. He always the same, did the same with me, so I said, I wanted to go and talk to you up and go and come back with me. <laughs> but he used to talk to me, but not much. Can we go to Pick it up. No, it's okay. Yeah, go on. Oh. Just come on the <laughs> That was a, that was a, that was a, no, that was a meow. That was a hello. 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 Rest. <laughs> he said his own name. Yeah. And then he said, good boy. <laughs> hello. That was a meow. Yeah. That was a meow. Yeah, he meowed. And he's like, what is this creature? Yeah. <laughs> do you need to do the microwave? He's got sharp nails. <laughs> no, it's just loud. The microwave's gone off and was in. Three, 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 three. Oh, Rex, I don't see how Rex is on your jumper. He might pull threads on your jumper, oh, that's all. Rexy. He won't bite you now. Oh, he has got sharp paws. They're very sharp. No, he won't bite you. He won't bite you because he wanted to come to you. No, he won't hurt you. It's so close to him going across that. Yeah. He's really talking to you, boy. Can't wait it. Laughing? No, he's laughing with you. Welcome back. Take three with the Montmartre Studio Acrylic Paints. I'm going again, like I said I would. Uh, so the first one was too thick. The second one was too thin. And now I'm hoping to get something in between. So I'm still using my 6535 glue water. The first one I did one to one. The second one I did one and a half to one. So this is just kind of in between. We'll see how we go with that. So I have got, they're all the Montmartre Studio Acrylics. This one says Thalo Blue. I wish it said on here somewhere if it was an opaque or a transparent or whatever, but it doesn't. But it's a lovely creamy thick paint. So I've got the blue, which is this one. Uh, this one is the blue with some white to lighten it. And then this one is some blue with the black to darken it. So I've got three shades out of that one colour. So, you know, if you buy these, um, you can mix and match your colours. You can make other colours from them. And then this one here is the turquoise. If you wanted to, you could add white to it and make it lighter. Or you could add green to it and make it more of a, a dark green. Um, and then I've got the white. That one there. This one here is sap green. I think if you put that together with the dark green and a touch of black, you'd get that really dark um, deep sea color that I that I make. I haven't done that yet, but I will. It's my first day trying these new paints and I've got the black, of course. Right, uh, 30 by 60 centimeter canvas. I've kept the other one, it's down below on the shelf. Very wet, so but I'm going to go again because I quite like that one, and I think the two will make a nice pair if this one works. I'm going to put in three drops of the treadmill silicone in all my colours except the black and the white. I'll just assume that the black and the white are opaques, so I won't put any oil in those because they're pretty heavy and they're going to sink. The other colours will most likely rise up. Um, with the silicone oil and make the beautiful rings that we all strive for. Those multicoloured, beautiful circular rings. And of course, last time, my last pour, my mix was too thin, so the rings didn't keep their shape. My cells went all kind of a bit stretched out because my mix was a bit on the thin side. So here we go again. It's exhausting. Third one today. Plus I did that varnish video today. I didn't varnish it today. I just um, sort of put the video together today. So it's been 
a busy day for me on my day off. Back to work tomorrow, so lots to do today. I shouldn't be painting really, you know. I've got housework to do, I've got bills to pay, I've got gardening to do. <laughs> I should be, oh, bathing dogs, clipping dogs. I've got so much to do. Grocery shopping. Who wants to do all that though when you're painting? Hey, you just don't want to. A little bit of black in the bottom of each. I think I'm going to do what I did with the first one. Um, hopefully you saw that. It only had, it had green in all of them. Shoe fly. Did you see that fly? Um, but then on the second layer, it only had green in two of them. So a little bit thicker of the green then. All right, here we go with the blue. This is the light blue. I might do a better layer. And if I don't have enough paint, then on the second layer, it'll just... Not all of them will have blue, so I think I'll do that. Shoe fly. I'll be chasing you around the studio with the fly swatter in half an hour. You just wait. Stay there and wait to be swatted, please. Maybe. <laughs> he wants to be a YouTube star, that fly. If I didn't have so many cups, then I could do bigger layers. But I'm using more than half now. I've only got about a third left. So the second layer will only, well, won't have all the colours in it. Love my blues and greens, as you guys know. Turquoise. Beautiful. In goes the navy. Still feels a little thicker this navy, or maybe it was the turquoise that was a little bit thinner. They just feel a bit different to each other as I'm pouring them out. There's a cockatoo screeching. I can hear it. It's probably wanting to be fed. I've already put food out this morning though, so it's probably all gone. They're going to have to wait till tonight. I'll give them some more then. Cockatoos pretty much all left for winter. I think they must go somewhere for winter when their seed or berry or whatever they feed on mainly um, dies off in winter. So they go somewhere else. And now that it's spring, they're, um, they'll be nesting. So it's been a while since I've seen them. There's a couple around, but really not many to speak of. Not what we used to have, but I'm sure they'll be back. And when they come back, I'll start videoing them again. Because we all miss little scruffs, don't we? I miss him. It's been a while since I've seen him, but it's not just him. If it was just him that would, had gone, I would be worried. But it's not just him. It's all the cockatoos. Pretty much all of them. One or two started coming back this week, but the rest of them are still away. I'd love to know where they go. Okay, now I'm going to start alternating, I think, with the, the colours because I'm not going to have enough to do all of them. And I'd rather have a good layer of each colour rather than a thin layer because the colours get lost if you have too thin a layer. You know, they blend with the colours next to them and uh, they, they do get lost a little bit. So I think a thicker layer is better. And if you haven't got enough to do all of them, that's fine. Just use a different colour. I'm only going to get one out of this cup. I think I also made a little bit less of the turquoise. Because the blues had 60 grams of pouring medium and 50 grams of paint. But the turquoise only had 50 and 50, so slightly less. Not much, really. Okay, and then you can be... Oh, no. <laughs> Dark blue on black. That was not a good idea, Julie. Not a good idea at all, woman. Because they're both dark colours, so when the cells pop through, they, they're hard to see if you've got dark colour on the dark colour. Uh, let's put some white on that. And some white on that. See, that's green and then black. 
over there. Now these two have both got extra white in them, so I need to separate them and just do that. And then let's put some green on this one. And this one needs some navy. It's already got green just there. I can see it. So I'm not going to put any more green on that one. Trying to get them all the same. Same amount of paint in there anyway. Mm. Yeah, I'm just trying to see where all the green is. That's had green, that's had green, that's had green. But only one layer. I'll just put some more here. It won't matter. A little bit left. <laughs> A little green corner for luck. All right, let's do this for the third time. There's a bar that goes across here, so I know where the middle is. Now, last time I didn't have my cups close enough to the edge and I had trouble covering my edges, so make sure they're up the top, make sure they're near the sides. All right, let's give that a minute. I'm getting tired, you guys. Move my paints out of the way. This will, I think this will be the last pour for today. It's relatively early, I guess. It's only quarter past two in the afternoon. So, I mean, I could, I guess, do more, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I say no more. You know, I'll go and sit and watch a movie or something. I'm in the middle of watching um, Netflix Slasher. So I like scary movies. <laughs> so I've watched season one and season two. So maybe I can go and start season three today. See what that one's about. Second one was really good when they were in the snow. Very gory though. So if you don't like gore and guts, don't watch it. <laughs> it's not real. You know, it's not real. <laughs> All right, let me just clear, um, smooth off my little blobs. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. Third time lucky. On my corners. Okay, that one's empty. It's very dark, that one, isn't it? Mm, yummy. And this one's the turquoise one. <laughs> this one's got more of the light blue in it. This one is. Ah, let's just do it, hey? Now I pulled faster there because I wanted it to more blob out here, so that's why I did it that way. Oh, and that one's dark as well. Another black edge there. So funny, isn't it? Exactly the same paints. They're just so different each time you do them. Okay, now you know what I'm going to do first. This big area here needs covering, so let's spin them around. Why am I walking on paint? I must have dropped something somewhere because I'm walking on paint. Okay. Let's turn this around. Put it back in my little frame there with my little tool. So this is okay here, it's covered pretty well here. That one's not. See, it hasn't flowed all that well. I'm hoping it's not still too thick. <laughs> Please be good this time. See, I've got some decent sized cells that have popped up already. So that's a good sign. 
Those little black ones don't look very good. My black may have been too thick. The black is always thicker. I think what doesn't matter what brand of paint you're using, the black always seems to be a troubled child, don't you think? It's always thicker for some reason. It must just be the pigment that they are using. I'm going to try and go a bit slower this time. I feel as if I'm, I rushed them. Normally I tilt really quite slowly, so let me just go back to basics and see if I can do a pretty poor. There's no rush. Last time I did rush and I shouldn't have. I don't normally. I normally just take my time. Just trying to get this filled in here. Um, what have I got? I'm going to put a bit of paint there just to help the rest of it flow. Come on, paint. Why are you giving me a hard time today, hey? Why? I'm just going to leave that like that. doesn't matter if there's an extra little piece there for now. You can always take it off later on if you want to. And I'm going to torch straight away rather than move everything back to the middle. It's very dark, this one, isn't it? I really like the first one the best, the one I scraped. But the colours of it, they were really, I think I really liked that green in it, even though I said I didn't really like the green. I really liked the green, how it popped. This is a lot darker, but let's see what happens once the cells pop up. So I've got black, turquoise, black, green, black. Maybe I shouldn't have put black in the bottom of my cup. I should alternate, shouldn't I? Layer them totally different, not the same in each in each cup. That way you've got something different on the bottom. So when you flip it over, it's on the top. Looks as if this turquoise is an opaque colour to me. And obviously I think the turquoise is mixed with white. So it's going to be an opaque colour. Anything that's lightened with white that tends to be an opaque colour because white's opaque. Alright, so still looking quite thick. I don't know that it's as <laughs> any thicker than my any thinner than my first one. And the black is really quite prominent because um, it's quite thick. But let's see what happens. Um, I'm not going to torch anymore for now. I can always torch later. But see how small the cells are and of course we've got the dreaded caterpillars because my mix is thicker. Now it's not necessarily because my mix is thicker, well it is in a way, but because the mix is thicker I'm getting closer with my torch to bring the cells up. So it's kind of twofold. The mix is thicker so the cells are harder to come through so I need to get closer to the canvas to torch thus creating caterpillars. Okay, now I don't want to go straight down because I want these cells to stretch out into round shapes. If you just go straight down, they'll be oblong. So you've got to go side to side to stretch them left and right while you're going down. corner and back go over this corner and back they're very pretty cells <laughs> they're only small though but hey <laughs> quality over quantity hey guys <laughs> they're really pretty they are I I do prefer them to be you know, maybe a little bit rounder, uh, a little bit smaller, but a better shape. You guys know that. 
Now, so they are just adorable. They're very, very cute cells. So now you gotta think, do I want to tip a little bit more, stretch them out a little bit more? You can do. There's a little bit of a wriggle there. I'm gonna see if I can just get a little bit of that off. And go slow, when you get to this stage, Go slow. There's no rush. And pick the whole canvas up and swish it around. I aim the paint in front of that so maybe I can try and get a little bit of that light blue to go. Like so. Bring it back gently, straighten up your lines. If your mix is nice and thick, you can do this without uh, overstretching everything. Wriggle forward, wriggle back, straighten up your lines where you want them. Okay, so that got rid of that on the side there. And your two edges, you know, the, the cells are much easier to stretch there because they've got somewhere to go. The middle ones... It doesn't really matter how many times you go off to the sides. These aren't really going to stretch anymore. They're just not. See, I want this to move, but it's just moving up there. fly I'm coming to get you you just wait now what else do I want to do now there's that that blobby bit there that I added extra paint to so do I want to see if I can get that off and again I'm going to not just go straight down I'm gonna go left to right left to right as I go down I don't want my cells just to go straight down. Okay, it's gone, hasn't it? Same thing coming back. Left to right, left to right. Not straight down or you're going to have elongated cells. All right, see, that was easy, wasn't it? It's gone. Whoops, moving the whole thing. It's because I've got such grubby hands. Uh, righto, well, what do you think of that one? Pretty? It's pretty. Um, I, don't, I don't think I want to change it anymore. Actually, I, th I think I'm quite happy with that, that consistency. Maybe just my black being a little bit too thick. No, see, because I've got the caterpillars. So the caterpillars are telling me, Julie, your mix is too thick. That's why the caterpillars have come to the party. So... I'll stick to what I did um, with this ratio and maybe just add a splash of water to the black. And this um, this turquoise, I think, seems to be a little bit on the thick side. But look, I'm, I'm being ultra, ultra picky. It's a beautiful painting. It really is. I'm just being so picky now. Um, let's just cover in these little spots that I've missed. I'll grab the other one from under the table just so that you can see the difference in the cells. See, I've got a lot of black on in this pour, a lot. And I didn't mix up as much black as I did the other colours. I only did, I've got it written down, 50 grams of pouring medium and 40 grams of black. So, you know, the, my navy, for instance, had 60 and 50. So the black had much less. And it's a navy. I have got any navy left. I'm just going to use some out of here because that's just a, a beautiful, plain navy corner. So, yeah, I had much less black than I did the other colours because black really takes over. Um, and especially if your black's a little bit on the thick side, it tends to be even more dominant. So, 
but yeah i think i'm i'm happy with that what do you guys think probably preferred as i said preferred the first one because it had this bright green but in saying that this one's got the turquoise and the green and the other one didn't have that so it's really pretty as well they're all different and the white's made an entrance sometimes you lose your white if you mix your white too thin now let me just grab this one from under the table again okay oh seems to have dripped a little bit my table mustn't be quite straight i'm just going to wipe the edge just hang on one sec little drips under my table so it looks as if it's uh, dripping down this way I always did think my table wasn't quite straight okay um, now how will I do this I'll just show you real quick because I don't want it dripping into my other painting try and hang on to it and this is going to keep dripping because it's so much thinner i'm just going to scrape it you hear that i'll scrape you if you're not behaving here we go see how it's a little bit more muddied and the cells aren't round this one is much more bright and the cells are round and they've space between the cells this one the cells are kind of bumped into each other there's not much space around them this one's got space around them so you can see the difference hopefully you can oh, let's put that up there for now all right take my gloves off take you down for a close-up oh i'm exhausted you guys exhausted so did you see the difference in the cells Just zoom you in there so that you can see. I'll take you down for a close-up. Oh, I'll stand. I'll stand here. With the light behind me. Pretty pretty. Look at those turquoise cells with the white around them. Gorgeous. And then we've got that black stripe there. And it's got all those little turquoise and blue cells in them. And then there's the white stripe. We've got some green. With the blue cells up there and then we've got white cells down here and then the black there it's got mainly blue cells in it hasn't it and the blue cells have got rings around them look at that oh I'm in the shadows come around look at those blue cells And the turquoise, hmm, not my favourite, not my favourite colour there. And then back over here, it's a really pretty, really pretty corner down to the, the bottom right there. Got some multicoloured cells, really pretty. So I lightened that blue with the white there so i think they have become opaque haven't got a lot of rings around them see the dark blue there has got the light blue ring around it so the um the darker blue must be more of a transparent whereas these i mean ah, uh, yeah they have i guess they have got some rings around them yeah they're, they're pretty good like they're really, really actually quite pretty cells aren't they all right so one two and three did you watch all three which do you prefer 
Um, I still like the colours, I guess, of number one. It would have to be the one I scraped, wouldn't it? She kept them all and I could have had a really pretty triptych. All right. Um, I think I'll actually scrape that other one, the one behind me, that's just not behaving. The cells are a bit big, overstretched. We'll see. I'll have a think about it. Might sleep on it. <laughs> All right. I'm exhausted. I'm going to go and watch a movie. I'll go and find Slasher. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. Love you all. Bye for now.